Welcome back to Ivy's Kitchen. Today on Ivy's Kitchen, I am showing you how to make a Korean dish called japchae. I'm not sure if I pronounced that correctly, but what it is, it's a sweet potato glass noodle, stir fry with vegetables, meat, and the sauce is soy sauce, sesame oil, and sugar. If you want the recipe, please check out whatsivycooking.blogspot.com and if you want to see how I make my version of japchae, keep on watching. Please visit whatsivycooking.blogspot.com for the complete recipe. So the first thing we want to do before we even start this is marinate the meat and the mushroom. So what I have are shiitake mushrooms and you can either get the dried shiitake mushrooms and just rehydrate it with hot water or you can get the fresh ones. I found fresh ones at the store so we're using that today. So let's go ahead and chop this up. So I added my shiitake mushrooms to a bowl and what I'm going to do now is add my beef. And what I did is I bought beef that was already cut, um, it looks like this. So what it is, it's just an eye of round beef, it's good for stir fries. Um, you can also use filet mignon if you want to, I don't know if I pronounced that correctly. But I'm adding my beef to my shiitake mushrooms. So the marinade is going to be sugar and now we're going to add the garlic and we're going to add some soy sauce to this and we're going to add sesame oil and black pepper and we're just going to mix this together. So all the ingredients are incorporated and in that marinade. And I'm going to let this marinade sit in the refrigerator and while it sits in the refrigerator, we're going to go ahead and do our prep work for the vegetables. Please visit whatsivycooking.blogspot.com for the complete recipe. So let's go ahead and get started with prepping our vegetables. Julian your carrot as shown. Remove seeds and membranes of your bell pepper and slice into strips. Slice your onion as shown. Mince your garlic. Cut your green onions into two inch strips. If the piece is too thick, cut that piece in half. I'm boiling some water right now because we need to blanch spinach in that water and we also need to cook the noodles for this dish. The noodles that we are using are sweet potato glass noodles and they look like this. Um, I got this at a Korean market and I'm pretty sure you can pick this up at any Asian market if there is no Korean market and it's a sweet potato glass noodle. If you can't find this, I'm pretty sure you can use vermicelli noodles as a substitute. Blanch your spinach in boiling water for two minutes. Squeeze the excess water off the spinach and chop. Set your spinach aside and marinate it with sesame oil and soy sauce. In the same pot that you blanched your spinach, cook your noodles according to package instructions. Don't forget to drain and rinse your noodles with cold water to stop the cooking process. Make sure to drain the excess water. Scramble an egg in a bowl. Heat up a thin layer of oil, and once the oil is heated, add the egg and spread so that it coats the bottom of your pan. Flip the egg over to cook the other side. When you are done cooking, chiffonade cut your egg. Heat up some oil in your wok and saute the onions, garlic, and green onions. Don't forget to season with salt. Once that is cooked, set it aside and cook your bell peppers and carrots until tender. Once it's tender, set it aside and saute the beef and mushroom mixture. Once 
When the meat mixture is cooked, add the noodles and the vegetables to the pan. Season the noodles with sugar, soy sauce, sesame oil, and pepper. Make sure to mix all the ingredients together. Once mixed, garnish with the egg and you are now ready to serve. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Again, for the recipe, please check out wettidycooking.blogspot.com. I'm also on Facebook, which is facebook.com slash ivysfood and Instagram, ivysfood. Again, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Mmm! So good! Thank you for watching Ivy's Kitchen. Please don't forget to subscribe. For my recipes, please visit whatsivycooking.blogspot.com. You can also find me on Facebook or Instagram. Until next time, happy cooking!